And when admitted liar Alec Murdoch claimed innocence on the stand today, he seemed to be working very hard. Again, it, it was practiced. So was it really a choreographed performance? Or was it just a heartfelt expression of remorse for lying and then saying, I didn't do it? To help answer that question, we're joined by body language expert Dr. Jill, uh, Lillian Glass. Dr. Glass, you've had so much experience in the trial context examining witnesses, so thank you for being with us. Here's how Alec Murdoch described finding his son's body. <laughs> He's done the way he's done. His head was the way his head was. I could see his, could see his brain laying on the sidewalk. Paul was so, he was so bad. So bad. Dr. Glass, what are you seeing there? I see that uh, there's not a lot of authenticity. I think he's practiced. I think he's, uh, it's, it's not genuine. I don't feel that those are genuine tears. Uh, there may be remorse for getting caught and for being in a trial, but in all honesty, throughout this whole experience, you, you don't see a lot of tears. You really see a lot of um, inauthenticity. Was he trying to conjure up tears? I mean, the kind of looking well, down, the, the, the halting, halting speech. Is, that yes. he, he, is he trying to make himself cry? I didn't see yes. tears, but I might have missed it. Yes. No, you didn't miss a thing. He's being very dramatic, uh, looking down. I mean, this is a, a great lawyer, so he certainly knows what to do. But it's not working, because he's leaking out some of the truth. And as we go on further to watch, we do see some signals of deception. I want to play this next moment for you to react to. Watch. Mm -hmm. Did you take this gun or any gun like it and blow your son's brains out on June 7th or any day or any time? No, I did not. When people say, now, I did not, <laughs> that's, a, that's a big warning sign. Usually you say, no, I didn't, you know, or you show some emotion. No, I did not. Usually I found in my experience, that's always a red flag. Well, so he was kind of nodding I, yes while saying no. Is that what yes, you're saying? Yes, that's one thing. And then very hyper articulate. So again, you know, he's, he's being definite and trying to make his point instead of saying, no, I didn't do that. You know, like he's not, when, when we think back of how his son appeared, which was very genuine, it's completely different from Alex. Now, there was a moment where he explains what he himself, Alec Murdoch, did when he found his son's body. I told him, oh, you grab him by the belt, Luke. <laughs> And try to turn him over. <clears throat> and when I did, his phone popped out. I mean, his phone popped out. And I just picked it up and I put it right back there. Grabbed him by the belt loop. That just doesn't <laughs> seem like anything anyone would ever say, ever. But no. And also, what is your reaction to his voice? There? His Oh, sorry. His voice changed completely. You, you heard a, a tone. He's, you know, all emotional, and then all of a sudden he goes back to normal. And again, who grabs anybody by the belt loops? This is your son. You grab him by the shoulders, by the, by the head, the upper extremity, not his belt loops. I mean, so it doesn't ring true in terms of what he's saying. And you could see it in his face. Well, Dr. Glass, is that a, trying to impart a sense of specificity onto the scene? That's why you would say that if you were uh, being less than honest or lying? Exactly. That's one of the signals of deception. It's too much information. He's getting too detailed. That's not what people would say. They'd say, oh, my gosh, there was brains were all over the place. There was blood. It was horrible. But that's not what he's doing. He's focusing on the belt loops. And as he goes on further, uh, he, he talks about the, the cell phone falling out of <laughs> the belt loop or the, the belt area. And it's just too much information. That's a big warning sign when mm. it comes to deception. Dr. Glass, fascinating. Thank you so much.
Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.